Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> In chat we have Ardalan, Vader, Bonimer, and Instinct. Hello, everyone. Good evening. I hope you guys had a good Christmas. Christmas tomorrow, I see. Potato soup, chili, and Mexican cornbread. Nom 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 nom. That sounds delicious. I never had Mexican cornbread though. I had the rest. So I know how that tastes, but... Nope, never had cornbread. Toes are cold, says Vader. Hey, I'm wearing woolly shoes, or whatever they're called. Pantoffels in Dutch? What are they? What are those called in English? Like the woolly boot shoe thingies. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, two more songs. Slippers? All right. It's like cornbread that has corn, sometimes sweet or spicy pepper, sometimes onion cheese. Ooh. You said cheese. <laughs> now I'm hooked. Oh, something totally unrelated. I was checking GOG, uh, good old games, because I'm, I'm thinking about getting an account sometime next year for uh, some games. And do you know which game they added, like, last week? I could not believe they added Hexplore! <laughs> they added Hexplore! You can now download it for a couple of bucks and it works in Windows 10! It's amazing! <laughs> I might do that. Get a, to give a proper playthrough of it without, with, without crashes and stuff. I was like, what? And yeah, they did. <laughs> maybe Vader, maybe someday. But yeah, it's crazy. That old game is getting a Windows 10 version. I could not believe it. Mao as well, Instinct. How have you been? I can get you the recipe for my mom. Yes, please. Post it in the cooking channel so others can also try it out.
get it tomorrow. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm always for new recipes. Please. Uh... One more tune, and then we're gonna start. I have too many songs. <laughs> oh, well. Um... Where is it? I had a good... Eh, fine. Let's just do this one, why not? Too many songs. This is a short one. I can also in chat now see Pico and Grayson have arrived. Welcome as well. I think the base thing is basically just cornmeal and then you add eggs, cheese, pepper, and bake it. Mmm, nom nom nom. You sneaked in. I see, Pico. I see. Did I hear right that Sugar Dust brought food for everyone? Uh, she was talking about Mexican cornbread. Which sounds delicious, but I never had it before. Ugh. Good evening, Sadar. Um, we should get started. It has been ages. Hello, everyone. Ages since I did a DOS game. So I was like, it was high time we did a DOS game again. So let me see. I tested it earlier. Might have to recalibrate this screen because OBS and DOS just... Okay, there it is. I do see, however, I need to resize this thing a little bit. So give me a second. Bum, 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 bum. And all the way down here. That's the beauty of DOS. All right. When was the last time I streamed a DOS game? Oh, it was the pinball stuff, I think. Yeah. It was the pinball stuff. That was a couple of weeks ago, I think. But let's see. Ah, it's so nice. Sometimes, you know, just to go back to DOS. I grew up with DOS games. How many of you have actually played a DOS game back in your day when you were only like a few years old or maybe even 10 years old? Man, it takes me back. Oh, uh, BBGTH, okay. BBGTH. I just had a couple, a cu cup of eggnog, so I might fall asleep. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't have a uh, a horn to keep you awake, though. Yeah, you grew up with DOS. I used to play Carmen San Diego. Oh, well, this game is not really the same. It's kind of similar ish. I had tons, I loved them to bits, but DOS won't work on my PC, as you know. Have you tried this uh, DOSBox emulator yet? It works on most modern PCs. What's my first DOS game? Oh, cool. Um, yeah, we should just... Um, get started. So I can explain how this works. You guys have visuals, right? Just checking. Alright, what's your name? Well, let's go for the first game. My first computer game for Basic and Pascal. That's even older! <laughs> That's even older. Awesome. I tried, but my desktop is getting messed up when I tried to start it. Oh, hmm. Well, if you ever want me to try and help you get it running, or whenever you change something on your PC or, or if you ever want to try it again in general just let me know and I can pro probably help you through the uh, setup 
It's not that hard once it actually is running, but I can see it can be a little bit of an issue when you're not really familiar with, like, these shells, as they're called, I think. DOSBox is technically not an emulator, it is a shell that allows you to run DOS games inside it. Didn't even exist when this game came out, <laughs> hey, Ponemer! And I was free, I was in college, yeah, it's an old game, dude. It's an old game, it's a good game, though. Uh, we want to be beginner. Is anyone else playing? Nah. Pierre? Yes. Remember the... Shing ding ding sound when you try to yes, I know that sound. <laughs> Do you want Pierre to play? Yeah, we're gonna go against the computer. So I can see there's some sort of lag. Oh, there it is. Okay, I need to move the screen. Got it. All right. So what is the goal of this game? The goal is to collect items around the world. And as you can see, we have the first five items here we need to collect. A Inanga, a Gnob Carry, or Knob Carry, a Kung Fu Tunic, a Tet Firecracker, and an Outrigger Ore. And you fly around the world, collect clues, and try to get the items before the computer or your opponent does, and bring them back to, in this case, Guatemala. Uh, and whoever gets the most treasures wins the round, and then you can just try again. There's three difficulty settings, this is the easiest one. But... I have no idea- well, Kung Fu might be in China, I think. Not sure where the others are, I have no idea what these are, but the clues might help. If you guys have any ideas about these items, if you want to look at the items mid-game, let me know. I can bring up the list again, and let's see if we can find these items. Isn't a knob carry just a fancy name for men's underwear? Um, I hope not. <laughs> Here's the French dude. Was he these? You have come back for more. Have you not got had, had you not got enough shame for one life? Not time, ho ho. I can't do a really good French accent, but hey, Kaori. I don't wear men's underwear, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, well. We are now here in Guatemala, and on the easiest difficulty in the lower left, you can see a hot cold bar that indicates how close we are to any of these. I can see that for some reason this needs to be okay. Um, yeah, in Nanga, Nob Carry, Kung Fu Tunic, Tet Firecracker, Outrigger, or well, let's just go. I think the Kung Fu Tunic might be in China. So let's go to China. The first few times I'm gonna let this running so you can hear the music, but they're all like little classical jingles. You can skip them though, but the first few times I'm gonna let them running, so... And then you get a little info box. For some reason there is a bit of a delay. I can see on my screen the full text of this info box. And then on... okay, there it is. Um, yeah, you get a little information, little picture, and it tells you about pre pretty much everything you fly to. So it's not only just a fun little game, but you also get some information if you want to read that though, of course. I did not as a kid, I was just looking for the treasure. But it's a fun, fun... Oh, here's a clue to help you find the knob carry. A knob carry is a short club with a knobbed end used by African tribesmen. Oh, that still doesn't say a whole lot. How many African tribes are there? A budge, right? But at least we know it's in Africa now. All right, I'm gonna go yeah, Honolulu. What if the flight was like desert bus? No, thank you. <laughs> that would take forever. Here's a Kong, yeah. The martial art of Kung Fu was developed by monks. I'm pretty sure this is China, right? It was developed by monks in this Asian country. I mean, I had a suspicion. Oh, it's Tokyo. Oh, here's a clue to help you find the... Tet Firecracker. On Tet, 
the big holiday here. People shoot off firecrackers and pay off all debts for luck? What? The big holiday. People shoot off firecrackers and pay off all debts for luck? Um, okay. I'm not sure where Tet is. Oh, that is the holiday. Okay. I have no idea where this is. Uh, the easiest difficulty is, well, pretty easy. Oh, the knob carry. In the early 1800s, the current residents arrived in this country after fleeing the Zulus. Maybe Tet is Thai or something close in that direction. Maybe. No, what you say because Neo in Matrix says, I know Kung Fu and Matrix was filmed in Hollywood. <laughs> oh, great logic, Bonomer. Um, um, uh, Shanghai, China? Yay. Thought as much. That was easy. All right. Where's my chat? There's my chat. Chat likes to disappear sometimes. Get hit, get hit, get hit. What do you mean, get hit? Rungu stick is like a weird stick with a roundy thingy on the end that African tribes have. I don't have... No, if that's it, it is even helpful tip law. Here's a clue to help you find the Inanga. Inanga is a six-stringed harp played by tribal members in the Central African country. Okay, that's easier. Zulu is South Africa. Uh, not sure it is Africa. Not sure if it's South. Yes. I'm confused, says Instincts. Why, why are you confused? You fly around the world and collect items. That is pretty much it. And you sometimes find clues to help you find items even quicker. Duh. One moment. Mon dieu, what a stupid clue! Who is the idiot who thinks he's up? <laughs> um, not really a stupid clue, Pierre. You need to just, well, get a clue. Haha. -ha. All right. Um, well. Vader said Thai, so Thailand is here-ish? Oh, outrigger or You'll see many outrigger canoes in this Pacific country west of Samoa and north of Tonga? I think I'm close to that as well. As I said, beginner is pretty easy. Like, sometimes items are very close to each other, and it's not really that hard. The clues are easier to find as well. But I will play a intermediate as well, and we're also gonna... I'm also gonna play against Twitch chat in a second. I'll explain how that works. Obviously, it's a DOS game, so it doesn't have, like, Twitch chat support, like Choice Chamber or Stream Animal does, but I found a little funny way to uh, to make it work-ish, but more on that later. Mm. All right, so Pacific country west of Samoa. That is close to where I am. Pierre is pretty dumb though. He's flying around randomly, doesn't know where to go, and only rarely gets items. Um, Samoa. I am close to an item, though. You can see the little uh, bar on the left. It's close to the yellow or white at the top. Means I'm pretty close. Um, Taiwan, maybe? Nope, it's not Taiwan. And he's just flying around. No idea what to do. Oh, that's bad weather. If you fly through bad weather... Um, there's a chance you won't make it, so you stay it where you are. There's also a chance your cargo gets damaged, and that means you get less points when you return them to your hometown or city. 
So usually I tend to avoid bad weather, but sometimes they can be really annoying since certain cities can only be reached from, well, other certain cities, and if there is, is bad weather between them, you have to detour, which can cost you an item or just waste you tickets. I didn't even mention, but you have a, a set number of tickets in the lower right, and each ticket is one flight. So basically, you have to beat the game within, now, 54 flights. Pretty much. Let's go back and then go to the west. He is super clueless. Macau? Oh, went up a little bit. I should be close. Hanoi, Vietnam. Yeah, there it is. That's where Ted is. Let me... So, Ted Firecracker. Hanoi, Vietnam. Get hit by the luggage. Oh. So, now you know, little uh, trivia there. <laughs> that Tet apparently... Oh, it even says it right here. Hanoi is located on the Red River, requiring local knowledge. Nok Mam, made of salted fermented fish, is this country's ketchup. Tet is the big holiday. Cobras can be encountered, and the Ho Chi Minh mausoleum holds the remains of the father of communist Vietnam. Well, I actually played this game a lot in uh, back in uh, what was it? first grade or even before that, and I actually scored pretty well on my uh, geology uh, tests, because I knew where things like Bangladesh and uh, Australia and other countries were. Ah, oh, got bonus tickets, cool. He is going to Africa, so he might have a little idea. I want to go to Madras, India, but there's bad weather, so I'm just going to detour go to Bangladesh. Oh, Outrigger or fly out of New Zealand or Austria, oh, Austria, Australia, wow, to reach this nation composed of, what? 322 islands? Whoa. All right, I could do that, actually. He's probably gonna get the African one, the one with the Zulu, so let's just go there. I'm just skipping. Inanga, the African country's name sounds like a Beach Boys song. What? What? This African country's name sounds like a Beach Boys song. No kidding, really. Uh, these clues are sometimes a little vague. But that is... wow. Outrigger or you gulp a potent drink from a coconut shell in a ceremony in this nation east of the Coral Sea. Mon Dieu! Who can make sense of such awful clues? There should be a French editor in this clue department. <laughs> Pierre does. Pierre does nothing but complain, actually. Natasha and the Otto, the other ones, are not that, like, uh, mean. Well, they are different. They're not, they're not like, they're not, like, con continuously complaining, which is nice. Um, yeah, go to... should be on the east here. Pierre's beret is too tight. Oh, man. Indonesia. I'm gonna go to Australia. And then find the ore. And of course, see now there's bad weather, so I have to detour back. This is what I mean. I could try the bad weather, but if I mess up, or if, if the game is not nice, I will lose precious points. Okay, I'm getting closer now. He's gonna get it, isn't he? Oh, the knob carry. Your hotel in this capital city will most likely be set in the... Dlangani... Dlangani Hills? That doesn't say anything to me. Um... Here? Oh, I'm close. And he's also very close. Kigali. Oh, okay. Rwanda's contribution to the world music scene is the pretty sounding six-stringed Inganga. Uh... 
I'm writing these down. I'm making a little database. Because this game that does not have a database, and I am going to be the first one to have all these items in a little like document for later. You'll see why. I'm using that for a strategy, because I've never beaten the hardest difficulty on this game. Um, Suva Fuji, or Fiji. There it is, the Outrigger Ore on Fiji. Suva, oh wait, uh, Outrigger... Not out tigger, out rigger, or I'll show you the list I have later. Um, Suva Fiji. All right, and then back, and then this. All right. But yeah, I played this game many, 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 many times when I was little. Okay, I don't have anything close with a knob carry. Was the knob carry the one with the African city that sounds like a Beach Boy song? Good Vibrations, Barbara Ann, Surf City, Little GTO. Yeah, I think maybe Surf City. I'm not really close to Africa, though. So that's got to be a problem. Let's just go towards it. But he is way, way closer. All right, Mexico. All right, close enough. I can go to Guatemala, deposit these items, and get three new ones. A photo, oh, this one's easy. A photo of sushi. Well, that's easy. A camel saddle and a paddle from a dory? What's a dory? I don't know. Hey, Corsair! Just in time to help us hunt some treasures. Speaking of hunting treasures, we were talking about this earlier in my Discord, but a lot of people in my Discord actually remember the cartoon Montana Jones. And now that Corsair is here, we can talk about Montana Jones as well, because he was hunting treasure too. Yep. <laughs> Pico actually started it, I think, in the Discord. She was like, hey, I remember Montana Jones. And then she was like, maybe I'll draw Lord Zero. And then I was like, hey, wait a minute. I think uh, Corsair also likes Montana Jones. Montana Jones was my first crush. Oh, I see. I'm drawing. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wait, I'm close? I'm very close. Maybe te te gu what te te gu te gu chi gal pa wa. It's not it, but I'm close. These names, Pretoria. Oh, not there yet. It's gotta be Managua, Managua. Nicaragua. Ah, oh, there's the pedal for my dory. In the language of the Nicaragua's mosquito Indians, dory means dug out. Um, okay. Managua. And this is a paddle from a dory. Paddle from a dory. I'll explain in a second, Corsair, what you're looking at, because I did not explain it very well, I think, but... Nicaragua. Alright, Paddle from Midori. Uh, go back, go back, and go back. How can this be? Le Droop cannot be undone. He's called Pierre Le Droop. Maybe there's a joke in there. But basically what you do, Corsair, is you fly around the world, collect clues, and then you uh, find treasure, and the ones who get the most treasure wins. Sounds very simple. It is, but this is also the easiest difficulty. There's a second difficulty, which I have, which I have, dif which I have beaten a few times. But there's also a third one, which I have never beaten. And I want to try uh, see if we can beat Otto on the hardest difficulty together. But before we do that, we're also going to play at least one or two games against Twitch chat. So I will. I will explain later how that's going to work. It's not going to be like a uh, choice chamber or anything. I'll, I'll have to make something up to make it work, but you'll see. I think it will work. 
who do you play against? I'm playing against this guy, this Pierre dude. And he is just, he's just a computer at the moment. But you can also play against uh, human players, so... Mbabane, Swaziland. There's the knob carry. How is this a Beach Boy song? Mbabane, Swaziland. Knob carry. A short club with a knobbed end. Alright. What the heck? should have known that? Oh, yeah. They eat a lot of spaghetti in Montana. They do, yeah. I admit mean, I remember the theme most of the MV they did with the Indiana Jones movie. I still have the Montana Jones intro as a ringtone. Aha. True fan right there. Okay, so let's be honest, guys. Photo of sushi, that's gotta be Japan. But where would you find a camel saddle? Any guesses? I'm just going to go to Japan, because that seems pretty easy. If you think of sushi, you think of Japan. I can't go there. Alright, Vancouver. Oh, what the? Vancouver, Canada? What? That doesn't make any sense. Vancouver has a very large Asian population, including many of Japanese decent and excellent fresh seafood. What? Excuse me, I thought we were gonna go to Japan for sushi. Welp, that is a little weird. But okay. <laughs> I got my sushi photo. I just realized that we can actually, quote-unquote, visit everyone from chat. Let's see. Uh, oops. Not really visit, but close enough. Oh, that's Chicago. I don't think West Virginia is on there, Ardalan. There's only a couple of cities you can fly to. There's San Antonio, Cuba, the Chicago. I can see what else is there. We just visited Canada. Hey, keep the joke alive. <laughs> ah, dang it. Where is a camel saddle? I have no idea. All right, there's also Washington, of course. A camel saddle is much needed in this large desert country bordered on the west by the Red Sea. <sighs> Arabia, I think? I'm not very good with the seas. Uh, Ottawa, Canada. I'm gonna check. Toronto, Canada. Quebec, Canada. Man, there's one, two, three, four, five places for Canada. Not a whole lot of America. Well, I mean, you could put so many cities there, but I think they simplified things just to allow you to fly through this easier. Because, let's be honest, if you put every single city with an airport on this map, there would be a lot of dots, a lot of places to fly to. All right, we're gonna go to Egypt, Dubai, as suggested in chat. Oh, there's two new items. I have to reposition this real quick. A shipping company registration form and a St. Andrews cap. St. Andrews? Hmm. I'm gonna go to Egypt, check out if you guys are right about that one. Oh. Oh, the UK country is famous for its golf courses, especially St. Andrews, home of the British Open. Oh, well, um, I guess we're gonna go to um, London or something first. But hey, we're in Europe now. Hi, Kaori. Hey, there's even a, there is a airport in Finland. One, I see. And there's also a couple in Germany. 
shipping company registration form. This Atlantic, o yeah. this Atlantic Coast country's biggest exports are iron ore and shipping company registrations. Atlantic Coast country. Pooh. I should know these, but... It must be Edinburgh, then? Yep. Golf was born at Scotland, St. Andrews. What better place to get a lucky golf cap? Oh, I see. St. Andrews cap. Edinburgh, Scotland. Well, that's another one for us. If you... If you have, like, a winning streak of a couple of items, then Pierre is actually gonna rage quit and throw his beret and... <laughs> not play for a couple of turns. I've had it happen, like, once or twice. It's super funny. But you have to get, like, a, like six or seven items in a row without him getting one. And he actually rage quits. <laughs> uh, Oslo, Norway. We're gonna say... Hi to Bonamar in a second. Stockholm. Yemen, Jordan, and Oman all border this country. Yeah, it's Middle East, I think. Alright. And now we are in Helsinki! Hey, Bonamar, even though you don't actually live in Helsinki, I think. Close enough. Oh, well, we got some trivia here from, from uh, Finland. Finland has two unique sports. Is Bonamer here? He can verify this. He is. Let's see. Pespalo. Pespalo? Something like baseball. And bandy. Bandy? A form of ice hockey. Lapland, north of the Arctic Circle, occupies some three quarters of the Scandinavian country. The capital Helsinki on the southern coast hosted the 1952 Olympics and has the Granite Rock Church. Pesa Paolo, Pesa pa what 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 is this what is what is this 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 code language? Pesa Paolo, it's missing a letter. Oh really? Well, I'm not gonna question a true Finn. Rock Church, by the way. Granite Rock Church. Hmm. Oh, he got one. Um, shipping company registration form, Monrovia, Liberia, Liberia. All right, uh, wait, get this back, get this back, put that here. Bandy is basically like ice hockey, except a puck is replaced with a ball. Huh. That isn't that like weird to have a ball on ice? How that that sounds like it doesn't really work together really well, but I suppose it does. Um, camel saddle. We're gonna get this one, but first we're gonna visit the the we're gonna just for the hell of it we're gonna visit the German and I, uh, Italian um, cities in honor of Instinct, Pico, and uh, Kaori. And they can verify if the information there is correct, or they might even learn a thing or two. So let's go to Berlin first. Germany was the birthplace of Bach, Handel, Goethe, Luther, Marx, and Einstein. Near the Brandenburg Gate are the old Reichstag and the remains of the infamous Berlin Wall. Why doesn't it show on screen? No, it does. Which formerly separated state East Berlin from bustling West Berlin, Dresden, Devastated during the war is largely rebuilt. That seems, uh. Well, Disney can be on ice and anything can. Oh, a little too well. <laughs> I see that. Alright, we also have Leipzig. I think that's how you say that. Leipzig? Leipzig? A statue of Johann S. Bach honors this famous composer who was the organist and choir director at the St. Thomas Church here. Handel was born in nearby Halle, Leipzig's, Leipzig's main rail station. The biggest in Europe has 26 platforms, 
An enormous tower marks the Karl Marx University. Holy crap, 26 platforms. That is huge, huge rail station. I'm not sure if it's still the biggest though. This game was made in 1991. So some of the information might be outdated, of course. But that is still huge. Bonn, also in Germany. Bonn, the birthplace of Beethoven, was made the capital of West Germany after the Second World War. This city on the Rhine is home to the Beethoven House and a beautiful town hall. Heading south, you come to Mainz, where Gutenberg invented movable type, and to the Black Forest, Coco capital of the world. Coco capital of the world? So that's where all the chickens come from from Zelda. <laughs> I'm kidding. Coco capital of the world. Really. Alright, let's go visit Kaori. You live in Rome, right? I think Rome is actually on the map. Well, let's go to Venice first. Venice. If I can get it right. Venice is made up of more than 100 islands and 177 canals. Cars aren't allowed, but by taking a water taxi on the Grand Canal, you can see the Palazzo where Wagner died, the Academy of Fine Arts crammed with Titians, and bridal, funeral, and ambulance boats. Ambulance boats! Now that's something I've never seen before. Really? Really? Ambulance boats. That's an interesting thing to note. Alright. Uh, San Marino. That's interesting. Kaori might know. Why does it say San Marino as its own thing? Isn't this Italy? Or is it like a little um, country within a country? It is in, it, it is in the Italian like boot shaped country, right? San Marino is the world's oldest and smallest republic and is entirely surrounded oh I see entirely surrounded by Italy it lies between Venice and Rome high on Mount Titano tiny San Marino's peoples are scattered with eight small villages or castles you can climb up to the towers of the centuries old citadels guarding the city San Marino is its own country Titan Mountain sounds pretty cool actually all right, Florence or Florence, Flo Florence, Florence. I'm not sure how. It sounds more French than Italian, actually. But okay. Founded by Julius Caesar, was the birthplace of the Renaissance. The entire city is like a fine arts museum. You'll see Michelangelo's statue of David, the Piazza del Duomo, the Uffizi Gallery, the Palazzo Vecchio, the Ponte Vecchio, and the tombs of Machiavelli and Galileo. Wow. Did I say that right, by the way? All the Italian things, Kaori? Like Piazza del Duomo and Uvizi Gallery and Miacciavelli and Galileo. <laughs> I'm trying my Italian. I'm not an Italian, but I try. Vecchio is pronounced differently. Oops. Okay. <laughs> and now we got Rome. Beautiful Rome. One of Rome's airports is named after the great Leonardo da Vinci. Such a gateway sets the stage for this historic city and cultural center, the Forum, the Colosseum, St. Peter's Basilica, Trevi Fountain, Sistine Chapel, Pantheon, and Galleria Borghese. Has a nude painting of Napoleon's sister? What? A nude painting of Napoleon's sister? That's something I did not know. It's funny to me that you pronounce like an Italian word. I cannot speak Finnish. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cody doesn't deny that. Um, yep. <laughs> the picture of the fallen Madonna with the big boobies. Oh, that was such a great, uh, great thing. Because I'm visiting my friends, we're gonna lose this one item, but that's okay. 
Finally, in Italy, we have Naples, or Naples? Na Naples, Naples, on the west coast of Italy, south of Rome, was founded by the Greeks, Herculaneum, near here, an ancient elite resort, was uh, supposedly built by Hercules. Also nearby is the famous city of Pompeii, buried in volcanic debris after a major eruption on Mount Vesuvius in 79 after Christ. Uh, after Christ. After, uh, yeah. Oh, I do remember that. I mean, I've learned about Pompeii in, uh, in high school. I've never visited Italy, though. Ah, he found this camel saddle. I expected as much. Let me just... Camel saddle. Mecca. Saudi Arabia. I mean... Looking back, it kind of makes sense to have that there. Only been to Rome so far, but I want to at least go to both Florence and Venice once. I've been to Rome in Monte Gridolfo. If the thing explodes again, all of Naples might just disappear. That is bad. Alright, we need to go... We need to go to Guatemala to deliver these items. There are 15 items every round. We have three and he has two. So you now have to basically just deliver them so you get new items. So that's the last batch for this game though. And then I'm probably going to do a intermediate one. And after that, I'm going to play against Twitch chat. I'll explain how that works in a second. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the map, but there is like one city that has a slightly different color. Like, usually cities are red, but the one we have to return to is red with black. And that is, in this case, Guatemala, where we deliver our items. It's not really well visible, well, it's barely visible, but there is a small distinction between these two types of cities. Alright, two new items. Uh jar of Magyar Paprika and a Dodo Dancer's headpiece. Dodo Dancer? I know Dodo Birds, I think they were on Madagascar, I think, east of Africa, before they got extinct. And then we finally have these three, a bottle of Kirsch. A recent issue of the Latzaborga Journal. Is that... is that... German? Instinct or Pico? Can you confirm? <laughs> and then there is a kiosk poster. I know Kirsch is, I think... Uh, isn't that like liquor with cherries? But I'm not sure what the Latzaborger or Latzaburger Journal is. It sounds German-ish. Paprika is in Hungary. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, Dodo is a bird. Or was a bird. My dad's brother went to Italy about three years ago. He brought me back a magnet. My dad brother is only three years older than me. He is 36. Imagine looking at this and seeing the huge dark cloud. Yeah, that is bad. So, we got a jar of Magia Paprika, a bottle of Kirsch, a recent issue of the Let's Burger Journal, a Dodo Dancer headpiece, and a kiosk poster. Luxembourg. It's a town. So, it is in Germany, then, this issue, right? The Let's Burger Journal. I can try go there. Oh, kiosk poster. Walking down the streets of this city, you'll see many kiosks with many notices and ads on them. Kirsch is a fruit brandy. Oh, the capital has a ceremony commemorating a mossy emperor giving up his wife to save the country. Um, okay. 
How am I to win this contest with such poor clues? It is not fair, I tell you! <laughs> Cry me a river, Pierre. Seriously. Bottle of Kirsch. In this city on the Rhine, you can order Kirsch, a colorless brandy made from fermented cherry juice. Well, we are near Europe. This one is easy. Then... Um, go here. On the Rhine, it says. Well, London first. The Letzeberger Journal was founded in 90, uh, 1880 and is published in the small country east of Belgium. Yeah, that's Luxembourg, like chat was saying. Spot on. Brussels. Yep. And... Luxembourg. Boom! Got it. Recent issue of Let's a Burger Journal Luxembourg Luxembourg Boom, boom, and then back. And the cure should be in Europe, Europe as well, on the Rhine. Magyar is what the people of this European country call themselves and their language. Huh. Uh, well, Bonn? Ha! <laughs> Got it. Bottle of Kirsch. In Bonn. Kirsch is a colorless brandy made from fermented cherry juice in Germany. So Kirsch is from Germany. The more you know. Sacre bleu! You are a lucky one! I shall see you undone, rest assured! <laughs> yeah, we've upset Pierre. Because we got two in a row. And there should be another one. Le Magyar. Shoot in Hungary. In the heartland of this country are traces of the Roman Empire, the noob frontiers. Oh, I need to go lower. Whoops. So, here. Oh. Shagoslovakia. Shagol something. I. How do you say that country's name? Oh. Brahms and Litz performed in the Vidago Figado Concert Hall in the East Central European capital. Yeah, uh, Austria. Austria. Salzburg? No. I'm close. Liechtenstein? It's this way. Oh, he brought back the... Oh, he got the dodo! He didn't brought it back, he got it. Dodo dance... Dancer's headpiece in... Oagadugu... Burke. Kina Faso. What are these names? <laughs> Alright, so... Hungary, Budapest. Yeah! Vader, you are on a roll today. Well, we're all on a roll. We're, we're, we're all guys, you, you really you are all helping me greatly. If we can do as good as this against the hardest difficulty, we have a chance to actually win. Hungary. That would be great though. I've never I've never been able to beat the highest difficulty of this game. We got one left, right? Uh kiosk poster. Well that's not really gonna help. It is in Europe though, I think. Judging from yeah, Nap no, it's not Naples, it's higher up. Maybe it's in France. Monaco? Yeah, he's on my on his tail. Bern? Oh man. It's in Paris! I'm gonna risk it. Dang it. He got it, yeah. Ah, I knew it! It's in Paris! Dang it. I was so close to getting this one, too. 
All right, and now we return these items. I should have enough points. You also get bonus points in the end, judging by how many tickets you have. And we have way more tickets than him. Give the man some pride in his homeland. All right, fine. Dude, you're done! Go back! Deliver your items! I've been rough. Yeah, you get less points then. He got all the items, he's gonna go back, and he has... Well, we won. We won. We got nine items, he got six items, we got more points, so we win this game. Uh, yeah, now we're gonna play against Natasha, which is a lot harder, and I might need your help on this. I mean, I mean, I might. I probably will need your help on this one as well, even more so than the last one, because there is a difference in the mechanics and how to find treasure in this one. So, intermediate, and someone else? No. Natasha, yes. We have some new items. Let's see. A postcard of Angkor Wat, a white robe, turban, cloak, and dagger, a deck of playing cards, Batek Island print shirt, and the illustration of a rock. Or rock. Return them to Reykjavik, Iceland. Mm hmm. Um. I think the rock, isn't that a Arabian tale, Sinbad? Postcard of Angkor Wat, I think that's Asia. Playing cards, oh, Las Vegas, good call, yeah. Angkor in Cambodia, alright, that's a good call. We're gonna go to Cambodia then, if there's nothing else is closer. But where is the white robe, turban, cloak, and dagger? Not sure. Let's uh, go meet Natasha. Yeah, she is so nice. <laughs> I am wise to your willy ways, comrade. Prepare for retirement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Let's go to Cambodia. As you as you can see, the gauge has been replaced with an eye. In this mode, it's not enough to actually go to the place where the item is. You need to go there and when the eye lights up, you hit it and then you get the item. So it takes an extra turn to get a item and if you and if you are both in the same place, the one who got there first can claim the treasure. So, in that sense, it's a little meaner, but it's also a little easier. Uh, let's see. Because you know you're there. If the eye lights up, you're in the right spot, so that's easy. So, as long as you just fly to where it is, if the eye lights up, then you got it. So, we're gonna go to Cambodia yet yeah, first, so... Oh, the white rope, the turban, the cloak, and the dagger. A long white rope, turban, cloak, and dagger are the traditional dress of this Arabian land. Hmm. Batik Island, Island print shirt. This saintly island in the Lesser Antilles is known for its particularly fine batiks. I think I've had batiks earlier. Oh. What? Do you understand the meaning of clue, comrade? You're as slow as Volga in winter. <laughs> I think the Volga in winter is frozen. Maybe that's the whole idea, though. Natasha is very different from Pierre, but I like her. I mean, she's little, she's witty. Oh, the European resort is probably the poshest place to gamble in the whole world. Poshest? Hmm. Bah! 
Nothing can be learned from this clue. Where's the clue right does not know what they're doing? <laughs> Western clue riders? Oi. <laughs> oh yeah, now we get some info may as well to only city uh the city of Amsterdam. Yay! <laughs> Corsair, um Vader and me are from Netherlands, so glide down the canals to see the beautiful old city Dam Palace built on thirty thousand six hundred and fifty nine piles and Frank's house, the world's main collection of Van Gogh's works, and the graceful sixteenth century Montalban's tower. Tulips were brought here from Turkey in the 17th century. Yeah, well, there's no, there's no other uh, city of Amsterdam, uh, city of Netherlands on this map, Corsair. Uh, let's go to Cambodia. Batik, the twin half-mile-tall volcanic cones called the Pythons, are a distinguishing feature here. Ah, I have to visit the back for sure now. I know it's supposed to be a female, but I cannot do female voices. So bear with me. Uh, let's go to Cambodia. It's hard to win this one, though. This mode is like hit or miss. Legends say when the gods answered the lady's prayers, she built Angkor Wat the hill shrine. Cambodia is... oh. A rock, a bird of Persian legend, supposedly was very large and had great strength. Yet, comrade, you will not defeat Natasha! <laughs> uh, you don't have a single treasure yet, so... Where is Cambodia? Here-ish? I'm bad in this part of the of the world. Over the years, this Caribbean island bounced back and forth between French and British rule. Aha, uh -huh, as I thought. Do you not see it, comrade? I don't, actually. Uh, Burma, La... Oh, Cambodia. Hey! Look on the left. The eye is lit up. The Asian country on the Arabian Sea is one of the world's oldest nation states. This uh, uh, Asian country on the Arabian Sea, I see. Oh, I should have known! I must pay closer attention to the city descriptions in the future. Bah. Alright, so now we hit the eye. Woo! Postcard of Angkor Wat. That's the first one. Angkor Wat in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. One of the world's greatest temples. Oh, I was gonna read that, but then Natasha booped in or butted in. So, comrade, I see you're lucky as Frenchman says. No matter, there is much road to go. Yeah, we just got one item. So, where do we go next? Um, Persian legends, and also the the white robe or the traditional dress of the Arabian. Well, we're gonna go to uh, Saudi Arabia then. Yeah, the game does help, but uh, it takes several playthroughs for me to actually memorize where certain countries are. So let's go to the Middle East. Oh, she's going there as well. Parts of this part of the film Doctor Doolittle were filmed on the Caribbean island just south of Martinique. Okay. Ah, she has one. Dang it! And I just got there too. Muscat Oman. White rope, turban, cloak, and dagger. Come now. Come now, Babushka. Surely you do not wish to further the soul your name. Give up silly starts and take Baltic holiday. Bah. She is 
cocky. <laughs> yeah, let's go find the rock. It should be some... Oh, did I find it? Many don't realize you can ski in this country in the Ellsberg Mountains north of this capital. Instead of the Glashnost, I offer you glue, comrade. You look as though you need it. It should be here, then? Yay! Iran! Illustration of a rock. Tehran. The rock is a legendary bird of prey of great size and strength in the Middle East of the Persian origin. Cool. Wonderful to be called grandma by her. What? Did she just insult me? Is that is that Russian for grandma? Button on your Baltic shirt in Castria St. Lucia. What nonsense is this? Clue writer should be sent to Siberia for such clues. Um I was wrong. I thought only Pierre was 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 complaining, but it seems like Natasha's complaining as well. Um Batik Do little lesser entails. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go to Reykjavik first. Oh, Babushka is Russian for grandma. Well, the more you know. See, this game teaches you so many things. And not just like trivia, but also things of language. And also like where where certain countries are, and like little nitpicky or little witty items that just have funny descriptions. She's like one of those Russian dolls, full of herself. Ha! <laughs> what are those called again? You're like the, the, the doll in the doll in the doll in the doll in the doll. Oh, I... What are those called again? I know! Matroshka. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Full of herself. That was a great joke, Fader. Oh, I got one! What did I get? Oh, the deck of playing cards. Monaco? Oh, the casino! Well, Kaori was on the right track, except it wasn't, wasn't in Las Vegas, it was in Monaco. Monacoville. Monte Carlo was a chic gambling spot long before Las Vegas. Alright, now I know. I have one of them on my dresser. I have one of them too. Oh, cool. Have some Russian culture, do you? And I'm going to go deliver these items. I don't know where the Batik is, but... Yay. Free items. And we got three... What the? Leaf from... What? Leaf from a... Captain Bly breadfruit tree, a shoji screen, and a retablo? What the heck is a Captain Bly breadfruit tree? <laughs> I have no idea. Shoji sounds Japanese? And what is retablo? I have no idea. We had a Matryoshka store for a while, no idea why, but there were so many different kinds. Oh, that's cool. I like Matryoshkas. But, yeah, anyone has a, anyone have an idea where these items could be? Captain Bly is rum. Well, Bonomo might, might know. <laughs> Shoji screen. Caribbean, perhaps. Hmm, we also still have this item, which is like in the Antils, the Lesser Antils. That is Middle America, I think. And that's, well, let's go to the Caribbean then. Let's see if we can get lucky here. Oh, Bahamas. Somewhere around here then, perhaps. Haiti. Oh, one new item. Oh my. A garter! <laughs> I 
I mean, I know what a garter is, but where would you get one? Like, which which country or which city in the world is well known for its garters? <laughs> I mean, it's I, it's such a common item. But where? What is the first country that comes into your mind when you think garters? Um, Jamaica. Residents here ra hang retablos, a religious painting recounted a miracle in their casas. Hmm. Casa is Spanish for house, I think. Oh, he got one, or she got one. Oh, I got one too. What are you doing, comrade? Go back and get item. Well, I got one, so don't complain. London? Oh, there's the garter. A garter in England is a badge of the highest honor of knighthood. Really? I mean, when I think garter, I think of something else. I think of like the thing you the, the, the females like wear on their legs. <laughs> Could be wrong though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know instinct. I just sometimes these these like info the, the this information is sometimes just so funny. That's why I like this game. So what the hell does a badge look like? Look it up. Garter badge. <laughs> I thought about the other thing too. I know! I was so confused. But now we have the... Oh, the leaf from a Captain Bly breadfruit tree. Leaf from a Captain Bly a breadfruit tree. Captain Bly brought the first breadfruit tree to St. Vincent. Oh. Kingstown St. Vincent. I'm writing all of these down for Project Beat Final Boss of this game. I fell for the trap too! <laughs> Looks boring! <laughs> Nothing like what I thought of! Well, what did you think it would look like then? Did you really think it would look like a, I don't know, female underwear badge? <laughs> I hope not. Ah, oh, man, this game is so funny sometimes. It just, it, it, it has so many weird items. Oh, she's bringing this one back, sure. Futu takeaway. What the heck is Futu or Fautau takeaway? Sounds Asian again. Let's just bring these back. Ah, bad weather. I'm gonna avoid bad weather, otherwise I might lose. A bad woman's leg with her shirt pulled up a little. <laughs> Sounds accurate, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, a Bowie knife. Are they talking about the, like, the singer, David Bowie, or are they talking about something else? A Bowie knife. <laughs> Futu is food. Okay, where would you order a, a dish of Futu or Fautau? A Bowie knife is Australian, says the Finn. Let's go visit Australia then. And she got it. She got the Batik Island shirt thingy. Dang it. Batik Island print. Print shirt. And it is in Castri St. Lucia. Damn. Alright. We might not win this one, but it's more for the fun, right? Alright, let's go to Australia and see if you guys, especially your bone was the first, but also Instinct says, Oh, I got one! What's this? New item, though. Oh, that one's really generic. A black opal. Alright, where would you get a black opal? Also, we got this one. 
The Bowie. Wait, it's not Australia. What? Bowie knife. San Antonio, USA. A Bowie knife is a single edged hunting knife made popular by American frontiersman James Bowie? Uh. Alright. Ah, oh, you wily Cossack! I will win yet! I'm only basing this knowledge on the Bowie's knife sounding like Aussie accent. Wales. Oh. That's in Texas. Alright. And now she called me a Cossack instead of a uh, babushka. Uh, I'm gonna go to Japan. Shoji screen, um, Vader or Corsair, you've studied Japanese. Does Shoji screen sound Japanese to you? It does to me. It is. Except what is it? A shoji is a translucent paper screen used for walls and sliding doors in traditional Japanese homes. Oh! I think I know what those are. Those are pretty. They have you usually have art on them as well. Alright, we got the Futu takeaway, the Black Opal, and the Retablo. I'm, however, I'm going to return these real quick. She's... Oh, she got one. Abidjan's Ivory Coast. What is this one? Oh, the Futu takeaway. Apparently, it's African. Abidjan Ivory Coast. Enjoy your futu, a popular local dish while on the go exploring the Ivory Coast. Well, the more you know. Isn't it fun, guys? We're doing a little... We're do playing a little game, but we're also learning some new things. Quiche! Now, I know that one. Quiche is French, definitely. And the wood carving of a... ay ay what the heck is an eye-eye? <laughs> what carving of an eye-eye? Or an a a <laughs> But quiche is French. 100% sure. So I'm gonna go to France. I love quiche, by the way. Have you guys ever tasted quiche? It is delicious. Paris. Yes. Knew it. Oh, another one. A miniature... what? A miniature stone obelisk. Oh! Um... Egypt? Would be my guess? But yes, quiche. That was easy. Is in France. A quiche, a kind of egg pie, is a specialty from the Lorraine region of eastern France. Yes, quiche Lorraine. Stone obelisk, France. Could be as well. Oh, I skipped Natasha. Ooh. I thought the stone obelisk was Egypt, but I'm in Bordeaux, so I may as well check. Nope, it's not there. It's probably Egypt. The last village is still free from the Roman Empire! <sighs> it's not Asterix, dude! But bonus points for actually knowing what Asterix is. Egypt! Ha! I beat you, Natasha! You are here too! Well, too bad! LOL! Got it! I'm so mean. Miniature... Stone obelisk is in Cairo, Egypt. Obelisk monolith stone shafts rise into a pyramidal point were often erected here in Egypt. 
Hello! She tried to search, but I found it before her. <laughs> she wasted a turn. I'm so mean. Oh, uh, what was that about an eye? A tiny mammal is famous for having huge eyes. Oh! Isn't that Madagascar, Kaori? It's called, I think, a spoke deer in Dutch. Veda might know what it is. I think if that's what it is, it should be Madagascar or something around there. I have plenty of tickets. Let's go take a look. Wood carving of an eye eye. An eye eye are bushy tailed lemurs natives to this large African island. Well, yeah, it is Madagascar. But the question is are we going to get that before she does? Oh. Black Opal. Northwest of here at Lightning Ridge is the only place you'll find Black Opal. Lightning Ridge? Lighting Ridge. Bah! Nothing can be learned from this clue! What's the clue that's know not what they're doing? I'm not gonna get that before she does. Probably. Nah. Oh man, unless she has bad weather. Yeah, she got it. That's where the eye eye is. Australia, says Corsair. Let's go to Australia then. Yep, the eye eye is on Madagascar. Wood carving of an eye eye. Antananarivo, Madagascar. It's a lemur, yep. Madagascar. The reason I'm writing down all these damn items is because they will help me in defeating, hopefully, the final boss of this game. But that will be later this evening, I will explain that. Newest Nevesca Oblix movie was okay, but I find it weird to use the dead or alive. You spin me right around like a record as the intro and outro. That is weird. The last one, which was again Britain or America. I prefer the older movies. Yeah, I prefer the older movies as well. Okay, let's go to Australia. In this country, it's famous outback. Corks and strung. Corks are strung around the hat brims. Shake and f shake and flies will flee. Oh, I see. Well, it is in Austria. Though. Australia. Dang it. Not Austria. Australia. Man. Totally different countries. Please. Sydney. Yay. Your defeat will be as bitter as Russian winter if you do not cease futile effort. <laughs> uh, got it, though. The black opal. Black opals are found only in Australia. Hmm. Really? Sydney, Australia. Alright. It is insult! You cannot have such good luck for long, and then the touches shall maul you like Angry Bear! <laughs> angry Bear? Chill, chill, girl. <laughs> angry Bear. Oh boy. All right, we got we got three more. All right, let's just deliver these. What's the quickest way to? What's the quickest way to a uh, uh, Reykjavik? Residents here hang retablos, a religious painting recounting a miracle in their casas. Yet, comrade, you will not defeat the Tasha. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, you say instinct, but keep in mind this game was made in 1991. A lot has changed in like 28 years, probably. So there's a good chance that originally Black Opal was only found in Australia, but nowadays maybe there are multiple sites around the world where you can get them. Wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. So, I think we have just one more item. Yeah, we do. But she has like 15 tickets. 
So let's just put her out of her misery and found the, find this one. Residents here hang retablos in their casas. So Kaori said earlier that casa is both Italian and Spanish. So maybe mm -hmm. it, is in, in, it is either in Spain, in Italy, or it is in a country that was colonized by either of them. It's not in Seville. It's not in Lisbon. I'm gonna guess it's like here, one of these million islands. There's so many. Like one of these, maybe. Mexico? It's not Mexico, is it? Oh, it's Acapulco, Mexico. Alright, I'm gonna write that down. The retablo is in Acapulco, Mexico. Well, GG, Natasha, but I think we win this one. Doesn't matter where I go, because we're done. Acapulco. A retablo is a Mexican painting recounting a miracle. Acapulco, Mexico. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. And she gets the trip back. Gets the points, and we're done. But we still won. The, I, I had I had way more tickets than she did. I had like I, I actually had 69 tickets. I didn't even plan that, but nice. And uh, she had like 12 or something. So we obliterated Natasha. <laughs> Sorry, girl. You got wrecked. Congratulations, you sure sent her packing. You have definitely raised a few eyebrows at Pickle. Think carefully about your next move, though. Aldo has never been beating at this game. I know. Do you want to play a game? Yes, we're going to play against Twitch chat now. So, what I'm going to do... Okay, first and foremost, I am not going to use the list of items I have so far. I will only write down new things. So, let me just first set this up. Hi, what's your name? This is my name. Um, we're gonna play at Intermediate. Is anyone else playing? Yes. So, we need a name for everyone in Twitch chat. So, you can all think of a nice nickname, or we can just call it Twitch chat. And I will explain how this is going to work. I will, of course, still control your airplane, but you get to decide where to go. Just gonna call it Twitch chat, I suppose, if you have no other entries for this one. Because you might be thinking, how the hell is this going to work if he will just read Twitch chat and then go to where Twitch chat is saying himself? I will not, actually. How it's gonna work is I will. The ultimate knowledge. Anyone else have another idea for Twitch chat's nickname? How it's going to work, though, is I will just think for myself, not say anything, like, directly for, like, oh, it's going to be there, oh, it's going to be there, and I will just uh, k keep it to myself, and I will also, I will only read, I will only read chat for, um where you want to go, but I will not draw any conclusions for what you guys are saying. So all that you are saying in Twitch chat you can like discuss under yourself you can discuss amongst yourselves where you guys should be headed. Carmen San Diego, the best? No. <laughs> Our name is Legion because we are many. Legion? Really? <laughs> We are Legion. We could call it Legion. Where's Waldo? So yeah, um You are you are allowed to just talk in chat amongst yourselves and if you want if you have decided where to move, 
you will either just write in chat like move or go to so I know that it's something that I should move your plane to okay it's it might sound a little uh, it, it might sound a little um, confusing but I hope that it makes sense eventually it's, it's gonna be fun though cuz the thing is there are so many items and there really is no telling. Like the 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 collective knowledge of everyone in Twitch chat is probably is, is 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 way more than one person. So, in theory, you guys have the upper hand. But we'll see. If we win, it means you cheated. What? I'm not gonna cheat. How dare you? And also intermediates. All right. Here are our items, guys. And. If at any time you guys want to see the items, let me know and I'll bring up the item menu. So we have a plate of a drunk shrimp, the sleigh bell, the yippee yappa straw bag, a wind harp, and a troll doll. Huh. So, starting from now, I'm not going to say anything that I think are where, I, where items are located. But I will, of course, talk to people in chat. So, let's see. What would I think? We're starting in Tunis, by the way. So, I'm gonna go... All right, I have an idea. I have an idea. So if you and chat have decided what your first destination is, write it down and I'll move the plane there. I'm going this way. I can see there's one Sweden, Scandinavian, Norway. Yeah, so decide where you want to go. <laughs> nice try, Pico. Let's go home. <laughs> Sweden, Finland, Lapland. Well, you have to decide. So I'm going to just go in that direction. And then you can specify once we get closer. And I will avoid bad weather, of course. Alright. Norway or Sweden? Since there was a little debate about this, you guys have to decide. This is your turn, after all. Sweden, Norway, Sweden. Sweden. Let's go to... S you guys are gonna go to Sweden, then. Ah, shit! You have one already? What? For real? Damn. The sleigh bell. Damn. Well, that's a quick one. Sleigh bell is in Stockholm. I thought it was Canada! Due to the long northern winter, sleighs commonly with bells are a romantic way to see Stockholm. Bah! That's one for you guys. Well, that puts a... <laughs> I was gonna go to Canada for my sleigh bell, and I'm all the way here, and I'm like, what? Where the hell do I go? I don't know where the other items are. <laughs> this is gonna be a... Fun, fun game. I am going to lose this one horribly. Ah, uh, I need clues. I have no idea where to go. All right, let's just go this way. Norway next. Norway next. All right. Seriously? What? 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's just so, so unlucky for me. Troll doll in Oslo, Norway. Fagernes, Norway, is claimed to be the home of trolls who lure unsuspected people to their doom. You guys are good at this. Damn. And here I am stuck in the middle of the, well, <laughs> stuck in the middle of Latin America with no idea where to go and no items and I'm losing tickets. Um, great. <laughs> I'm still having fun though. That's the main thing. So, where do you guys want to go? Do you guys want to look for all of the other items, or do you want to return these two first? And collect two new items on the way? All right, we're going to return then. Cash in. <laughs> oh, wind harp. I'm going to be a sportsmanship, though. I'm going to read the clues that I get, so you guys can benefit from it, too. Although, you cannot read these clues, since they are mine. I, I can only read them in my turn, so... The wind harp, also known as an Aeolian harp, is a musical instrument from this Hellenic country. Huh. Okay. I am so lost. I have no idea what these items are! <laughs> I'm gonna lose this one horribly. <sighs> I am so lost. If you guys want to change your plans, by the way, let me know, because right now I'm just going to return these. Ah, oh, man, oh man, I have no idea. Alright. Returning two items. We got two new ones. I can read these two. Bottle of mango chutney and a jambijaya or jambija dagger. A bottle of mango chutney and a jambija dagger. <laughs> I am so clueless right now. Oh man, I need a good clue. Oh! Yippee Yapa straw are quite common in this country on the Yucatan Peninsula? Yucatan. These clues are not helping. So, what's the plan, guys? Where do you want to go next? I can see I'm actually not I'm not looking at chat while it's my turn, but I can see that you are thinking about China, you are thinking about India, you're thinking about Greece. So what's the first order of business for you guys? Can we go to Greece from where we are? Uh no. You can go to Italy though and Malta, so it's not that far away. Greece. Alright, you gotta go to Greece then. And I'm still stuck with virtually no items! <laughs> oh man, I'm so freaking lost. Oh, mango chutney is one of the local specialties of this island's country of Africa's east coast. Okay. I'm gonna hunt this one down. Gotta try at least. 
Uh, Athens. Oh, really? Man, you guys are so good at this game. You got another one. Damn. Not a wind harp. It's in Athens. Or, yeah. Wow. Wind harp is a Greek musical instrument with an open box over which strings are stretched. Um. Alright. Alright, you guys, you got this one in the back. Do you want to return this one or do you want to keep going? I'm gonna break up the items again for you guys. Can make some nice Alfredo pasta. China next. Asks Corsair, do you guys agree with her? Since you are playing together. Alright, let's go. You guys are going to go to China then. While well, I'm stuck here. I'm gonna lose this one so bad. I mean, it's not... I mean, I will maybe lose this one, but at the same time, we are collecting items. I'm writing down my list. This is all for Operation Defeat Otto later, hopefully. Oh! Drunk Shrimp, a popular dish, dish made of wine-fed crayfish, is made here. Wine-fed crayfish? I have no idea. <laughs> Wine-fed crayfish. Yes, that sounds nice. Oh! The curved Jambaija dagger is part of the traditional dress of this country bordered by Iraq. Man, I get all the good hints! And of course, now you guys know where to get this one. Bah! <laughs> That's how the game is, though. But you guys want to go to China, so we're going to go there first. Meanwhile, I'm still here. Uh, oh, that is bad weather. Alright, North Korea. Oh, Shanghai. Not Shanghai. Maybe it's Beijing? No! It's not Shanghai or Beijing! You guys were not right about that one. So, what's the plan now? Any ideas what to do next? Korea, countries surrounding China. Do you guys want to do a little tour around China then? We can do that, or you can do that really. While well, I'm stuck in the, in the in East Africa. I could 
Check Cory, I suppose. Yay, tickets. Ah, bad weather. That's so annoying. It's not Korea. Um, check Beijing. There's still some stuff down there. Ah, I got one. Finally. Um, Tapai? Ah, you guys got one! Damn! Good going, though. You guys are good at this. But I have an item, too. I have the jump by your dagger. Rijad in Saudi Arabia. Seeing how a picture of sushi was in Vancouver, it could be horribly mistaken. All right, Bodimer, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. And you guys got the drunk shrimp. I see. Plate of drunk shrimp is in Thai, Thai Pai, Taiwan. Drunk shrimp is a popular dish. Well, didn't know that, but now you do. Um, I have no idea where these are. Oh, I guess you should know what, the, what that is, but yeah, I'm just going to go for that. So, what's the plan now? Do you guys, do you guys want to deliver these two items, or do you want to keep looking for the chutney or the straw bag? So, you guys want to go through India and then deliver. Alright. It's not in Bombay. It's not in Madras. Some 1600 Majan ruins are in the country including the site of the Jaguar Ceremonial Temple. Oh, I might have an idea. Well, Sri Lanka? Nope. All right, so nope. Uh, it's not here. So you guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go deliver your items then. Okay, that's the plan, right? Or did it change just now? So, yeah, deliver your items first, or go do something else first.
I still vote for delivery. Anyone else? Deliver then Ecuador. All right, we're gonna go deliver first. Bah! I'm gonna run out of tickets sometime soon. A rainforest in this island country in the Indian Ocean has limestone needles. Indian Ocean. Oh! Okay. Uh... Here? No, the other one. Oh, African coast, what? I thought I was that earlier. Ugh. I don't know. I'm gonna deliver this one, otherwise I'm gonna run out of tickets. Alright, return these. And we got two new ones. The Taro Route and a steering wheel of a Land Rover. Alright. I don't know what a Taro Route is. Steering wheel from a Land Rover. Alright. Hmm. So, where to, guys? Two votes for Ecuador. All right. Um, I'm just gonna check and then deliver my item because honestly, what? I'm on my. Uh, your guys are on your way to Ecuador, and you find this random item. Seriously? That's that's so lucky. The steering wheel of a Land Rover! What?! It is in Noachot, Mauritania. To cross the Sahara, a four-wheel vehicle like a Land Rover is needed, I see. Wow. Hey, Demonic! I'm losing this one so bad! But that's okay. It's still fun. I'm just gonna deliver this item. I'm going out of tickets. Ecuador. I was there earlier! Or close, anyway. No, it's not Ecuador. So, what's the plan now? Corsair's like dot dot dot. Poor Corsair. She was so certain, but it's not here. But you guys need to decide on your next destination. You have to go somewhere.
Japan says demonic. Maybe the strawback is in South America, says Kaori. Colombia, Bolivia, Peru. What are the dots lower south? Well, I just said that. Bolivia and Peru. How Hong Kong may be for the Yippie Yapa, says Instincts. So yeah, I need a answer from Twitch chat where you guys want to go before I can continue, obviously. I'm not going to move the plane unless you have a goal where to go next. I would be wasting tickets otherwise. So, you guys want to check all of South America for something? Is that the idea? South America, America. Bolivia, then. That's specific enough. Nope. Not Bolivia. I'm finally delivering this item. Oh, man. Oh, Bento. Oh, Bento. Peru? You guys did say South America, so... Uh, I'm going to try this one again. Africa's East Coast. Uh, okay. Peru. Nope. And, oh, can't go there. There's bad weather. That sucks. Still bad weather. It's chilly. Nope. Taro root. Taro is a popular food in these Pacific Islands to the southeast of Fiji. All right. Argentina, nope. Uruguay, nope. Nope, not here. Brazil, nope. I'm still checking South America, and guess you unless you guys have changed your plans. The hungry people in this Asian country often eat obento, a lunch of cold rice and vegetables. Oh, I think I know what this is. Paraguay, nope. Ah, I got it, finally. I got this stupid mango chutney on Madagascar. Um, ta -nan. I need to read that again next turn. All right. More towards south. All right. I can't go up there. I have to wait for the bad weather. Let me read that again. Antananarivo. Narivo, Madagascar. All right, that's two actually on the same uh, island. Well, I have to deliver this in ten or le eleven tickets or less, or else I'm gonna lose the game. 
and you guys are still checking out uh, there's so much bad weather here that's the thing it's hard to get to where you're going okay brazil and i'll go up that was the general idea i got from chat french guinea nope damn i'm not gonna make it we might have to end this game prematurely Ganya, nope. Trimidad, nope. I'm not gonna make that in five. <laughs> Venezuela, nope. I have three tickets left. Netherlands and, and Netherlands Antilles, nope. Ah, uh, oh. The island capital is 13 hours ahead of GMT and is home to the South Pacific Monarchy. Well, you guys checked all of South America and there is nothing here. So what's the plan? I should get these though. Okay. But I'm probably going to dry out of tickets soon, because I have only a, a few left, and you get 10 for delivering an item. That's probably not enough to get the next item and go back, <laughs> unless I get lucky with bonus tickets. I see Fiji, Philippines, Central Asia, Obento... The city we can go to north. Kingston, Jamaica. Domingo, Dominican Republic. And St. Kitts Nevis, Basa Terer. Deliver then Japan. Can do that. You guys want to go through one of these cities or just go straight to Tunis? Anyone? Like, do you want to visit these or just go straight to Tunis first? To deliver. Well, okay, the liver. Uh. Oh, thank God, I have one ticket left. A fang mask. I am probably screwed. You guys are gonna deliver. I have 11 tickets to find one item and go back. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Man. Well, I'm gonna try something. And deliver. Good. What the hell is this? A Jivaro Indian shrunken head. 
Mm-hmm. I am... I'm gonna lose very soon. I have left seven tickets left, so where do you guys want to go next? Deliver Gen Japan. All right, we're gonna go to you're gonna guys are gonna go to Japan. That's easy enough. I'm just gonna try get this one, but I don't think I'm gonna get it before I run out of tickets. Hop aboard the Volcano Express in this city to reach the world's highest volcano, the Kotopaxi. Oh man. Reykjavik. Ah, got a ticket. Need those. Canada should be there. Ah, oh, I got one on, but I'm not gonna make it back in time probably. I got the Taro route, southeast of Fiji. Naku Alofa Tonga. Taro is a widely cultivated staple food in the South Pacific. You guys are gonna go for Japan. And I don't know. I'm gonna try and make it back, I guess. I have two tickets left! Ah. Uh, man. This is my last flight. I'm out of tickets! Game over! Boo! Well, you guys win. Well done, though. <laughs> you guys started off so well in the beginning. You got like three items right away, and I was like wandering around aimlessly. So that that was how I lost to the Legion. Well played. Your heart's in the right place, but you still need more practice. Keep trying. Oh, you guys keep going. I'm out, but you guys keep going. Well, okay. Let's just finish this then. See if you guys can find some more items. Japan. Hey! It is Japan for the Obento. Obento. Tokyo. Japan. Obento is a common traditional Japanese lunch. I thought it was bento, not o bento, but guess not. All right, well done. Um, deliver this one or go look for the Fang Mask, the Yippy Yappy Straw Back, or the Yavaro Indian Shrunken Head. O is an honorific. Oh, I see. I want to know if the Yippy Yappy is in Hong Kong. I can check. Hey, three tickets, cool. Hong Kong. It's not. Unfortunately, instinct. So, you guys have 18 tickets left. That's gonna be tricky to get all the items, but you have one already. However, it is still possible to get one, maybe two items. Where does Bruce Willis live? Maybe that's where you find the Yippie Kaye. It's actually a Yippie Yapa, but nice try. So, you guys want to go deliver the Obento or check out one of these items somewhere? Shrunken head, Amazon, Amazon. Well, we can try the Amazon. I'm gonna try a different route on the way back. Africa for the mask. Well, that's unfortunate because Africa is huge and has a lot of countries. But I'm gonna go to the Amazon first. Oh, Ecuador. There's the shrunken head. Nice! Jivaro Indian 
Shrunken head. Quito, Ecuador. Keep in mind, guys, you have ten tickets left. I would advise to return these if you can make it in ten tickets, or else you stop playing. Deliver. I'm gonna try make it there. If it's possible, but... The distance might be too big, or too far away, or we'll see. It depends on the weather, really. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Made it just in time. Woo! Mosquito net and a pound of ghee! <laughs> what the heck is ghee? A pound of ghee and mosquito net. The mask is certain must be somewhere there. Well, you got four items left. With 22 tickets, which is not likely. Oh, treasure finds the heads. What the beep? Yeah, that's a creepy treasure, I know. So, what's the plan? Oh, I see that the thing doesn't load. Okay. Not sure why that does that. Strange. Ghee is a type of butter. I think it's Indian. Indian butter. You guys want to go to India? Then? 22 tickets? Might just be enough to go there and back. Mosquito could be in Turkey too. Mask in Africa, certainly. Well, I, look at the map. If you want to go check in Africa, there's like over 20 cities and you only have 22 tickets. So it's, you have to be either very lucky or you need more hints to find this thing quicker. Mosquito could be Turkey. Well, either go to India, Turkey, or, well, I guess Turkey on the way and then India. So we're going to go to Turkey and then India in that order. It's not in Turkey. Let's go to India then. Oh, mosquito net. Let me show that to you guys. Mosquito nets are needed in this African capital and river port. Also take malaria tablets. Needed in this African capital and river port. Well, India first. For the ghee, apparently. Bombay? Nope. Madras? Nope. It's not in India. That sucks. I'm gonna swing back and go to Kenya. But it's not here, the gi. Fang mask. There are five styles of fang masks to choose from this central west coast African city. Okay, that helps. Central west coast African city. So, Central West Coast. Oh, Somalia. The Pound of Ghee. Mogadishu, Somalia. Really? People were saying it was in India. I'm going to deliver first, if I can. I want to keep you guys in the game because I want to know where these items are too. Man, it's so hard to get to where you want to be sometimes. Okay. Another item. Wooden devil mask. Man, so many masks. What is this? Majora's mask? Anyway. Now we're gonna go to Central West. Oh! Ni Nigeria. Right, oh, the mosquito net, damn. Mosquito net. 
in Niamey, Niger. All right, deliver this. Nineteen tickets to find these. Well, the Fang Mask is in West Central Coast. I'm going to try find that one. Do you guys have any ideas about the Yippee Yapa Strawback and the Wooden Devil Mask? Central West, so it should be here. Oh. Yippee Yappa Strawback, you must travel south from the Central American capital to reach the world's only Jaguar Reserve. Central American capital. It should be here for the Fang Mask. Dang it. That's the annoyance about Africa. There are so many cities. <sighs> We're not gonna make it. You guys have won, though, but I do not know where the stupid fan mask is. Ah, it's in Gabon. Finally, I got it on the very last turn. Whew. And out of tickets. Well, we never found the Yippee Yappy, but you guys have obliterated me. <laughs> Look at that final score. Jeez. God damn, guys. Ha! <laughs> well played indeed. Hey, you made it to the top three! Not bad. Um, let's see. I do want to play once once against Otto, but... Do you guys want to play another round? Like, one more round, and then we're gonna fight against Otto. Yeah, I know, right? It's all classical music, Instinct. I had to look it up. Otto is from Germany! <laughs> the hardest enemy in the game is German! Uh, alright, alright. We can either do a game against Otto and then another versus, or we can do another versus and then Otto. What do you guys want to do? What do you, you guys want to do another versus, or you guys want to try our luck against Otto? Let's beat up Otto. Autobot? No. I mean, beat... <laughs> beat up. Want to play a game? Yeah. Hi, what's your name? Tom. And we're playing Advanced. And that is the tricky one. Is someone else playing? No. Alright. That means Otto is playing. Alright. Okay, let's see. Welcome aboard. We need to find a bottle of cho Chobolobo, a Hupil blouse, a Netsuke, a hazelnut cake, and a worry doll. <laughs> Return to San Diego. Chell. Um, the thing about advanced, though, is you know you guys know about the eye icon, right? In, adv in Intermediate, the eye icon lights up when you are on a place with a treasure. In Advanced, it 
doesn't. You have to manually click on the eye if you think a treasure is in the location. If it is not, you lose a ticket. That's why Advanced is so ridiculously difficult. And I've never beaten this mode. Let's give it a shot. Vader says Netsuke is in Japan. What? You again? Come now, der day for an answer as you can defeat von Schlinkenrat is the day I will take a ballet. Yeah, he's called Otto von Schlinkenrat. <laughs> what a great name. Otto von Schlinkenrat. <laughs> uh, alright, alright, alright. Let's go to Japan. You guys have spoken. Worry doll. Worry dolls are created by the tribes in the Central American country to take away your cares. Well, that doesn't really help. Tokyo, Japan. Is this correct? It is. That's the first one. Oh, yeah. Netsuke is also in Tokyo. A Netsuke is a toggle used to fasten something to the sash of a Japanese kimono. Ah, okay. Alright, so what do we do now, guys? Do we go back to deliver this one? Keep our tickets high enough? Or do we go look for something? Where would you get a hazelnut cake? Sounds European, perhaps? I'm not sure what Hupil is. Or Chobolobo. I'm just going to deliver this. It's probably for the best if we keep our tickets high enough. I'm going to go a different route though. To try get some bonus tickets. But yeah, I've never beaten this mode before. Alright. Abacus. Oh. Isn't that like an old, an old like... It, it predates the cashier or something. Like it was used for counting, I think? Like, you know, um... Ah. I know what it looks like. It's like a like like a like a uh, with the, the, these like spheres or half spheres on a like rope or a line, and you push them back and forth to count something. What is the name of this game? It's called Bush Book. Hazelnuts are from Spain. China, Greece. Well, we have to decide. We gotta go to. Oh, it says Otto was here. Oh, that's another thing. Yeah, there was another thing in this game. If you are in this mode, if you are in a city that Otto has went to, he can use his powers of influence to send you somewhere else, even through bad weather. I forgot about that, but he can. Just just because this mode isn't hard enough already. Let's go to Greece. Ah, hazelnut cake. This Eurasian country is the world's largest producer of hazelnuts. The world's largest producer of hazelnuts. So it is in Europe, but it says Eurasian. Maybe it's Turkey? The largest producer of hazelnuts. Shines a good light on Germans. Ah, well. I know there are a lot of awesome German people, like Instinct and Pico, and way more than those. I'm not gonna let one individual 
uh, change my uh, vision on Germans, so... I'm gonna go to... Turkey! Oh, he got the Chocolobo! What the Chobo what? Chobolobo, what is this? Bottle of Chobolobo. Chobolobo in Willemstadt. Netherlands and Hills. May I remind you, we did not have a single clue about this item, and he got it first try. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Turkey. Abacus. The abacus is still used by many Chinese shopkeepers in this former British colony in Asia. Former British colony in Asia. Yeah, I know, instinct. But I know better. Let's go to Turkey for the hazelnut cake. He got the worry doll. Damn. Guatemala City in Guatemala. Need to make some new... Need to make some room. I told you he's good. He's very good. Alright, uh, Turkey. We're nearly there. And he returned them. Two new items. Oh, that's gonna help. We have a clay pipe and a cupu. Keepu? What? Cupu? Keepu? What the heck is a cupu? Cupu? Kiwi poo. Great. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna see if you guys are right about the hazelnut cake. Yes. Awesome. Hazelnut cake is in Ankara, Turkey. Turkey produces the most amounts of hazelnuts in the world. Well done, guys. We're kind of on the same term, so... Um... Taiwan, you say? We could go to Taiwan to check out for the abacus. That was actually not a... I think he has it, though. He is nearly there. No, he doesn't. Hong Kong! Wasn't Hong Kong also originally a British colony? Oh, the Hupil blouse. Hupil blouses are a specialty of the Oaxaca area of this oil-rich Latin American country. A oil-rich Latin American country. Mexico? Maybe? Sounds Mexican, perhaps? Or maybe it's Panama or something? Something near there, though. I don't even know how you... Yeah, Kipu, something like that, I guess. Incan. Ha! If you still need to look for clues, then they are not ready yet to tangle mit von Schlenkenrat. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna check Hong Kong. Because that is... Or was a British colony and also Taiwan. Yeah, you are close, but close is not good enough. Remember that when I am pronounced the winner. I told you he's mean. Uh, Hong Kong is here. Oh, he had the abacus. It's Singapore. Damn. Abacus. Yep. 
My victory is assured, especially if you continue to play as you have up to now. Ha ha ha. Bah. Yeah, this is not looking too great, guys. I could try Mexico on the way back to the, uh, to Charlie Chael. But he's in the lead right now. Oh, the Kipu. The Incas of this country used the Kipu to keep track of numbers before the Spanish came. So it is the Inca of this country. <sighs> well... Yeah, I have to go this way. Otto was here. Oh, great. The Spanish discovered the highly developed Inca civilization here in 1531. Inca civilization. Where is that? I know it, like, vaguely where it is, but I need to know exactly where it is in this mode. Return an item, and we got... A sitar. Um, isn't that a guitar-like instrument? Indian, I believe? I'm gonna try Mexico City and then return. Ha! The Hupal Blues. I got instinct. Mexico City in Mexico. Oh, what? He got the Kipu! Lima, Peru. Well, he got the Peru item. Damn. I'm going to return. He returned as well. Clever. What? Barcarol? Barcarol? Songbook. <laughs> now that's not good, that's good. It's a little different. But yes, it does mean good instinct, yes. I know that much German. Otto was here. Oh shit. Oh, sitar, yeah. A sitar is a Hindu 20 stringed instrument made of gourds and teak. It's popular in Indian music. Alright, deliver these. What the hell? Snakeskin shampoo? <laughs> And a flying lizard tie pin. Snakeskin shampoo? That actually exists? I suppose. And a flying lizard tie pin. Oh man. So, where would we go for these items? Clay pipe, snakeskin shampoo, sitar, flying lizard tie pin, and the Borcarol songbook. I don't know, even half of these items. I know where the... I think I know sitar might be in India. Flying lizard tie pin. Where? What is a flying lizard? Well, apart from a dragon, but... Sitar, I think, is India. I don't know what a barca... I'm gonna go to India. Oh, you can see real flying lizards in the jungle north of this Southeast Asian capital. In the jungle north of this Southeast Asian capital. 
Southeast Asia is pretty big, dude. Welp. Oh, Barcarol songbook. If you want to hear a Barcarol, a song that has a rowing rhythm, write a gondola on a canal here. A rowing rhythm? Hmm. What's a rowing rhythm? I have two Venice in chat, but Venice is kind of far away. But we can try, I suppose. Otto was here. Oh, shit. Well, I haven't gotten that yet, thankfully. We're gonna go to Venice. That seems easy enough. Oh! During a lifetime, residents of this city could ride bridal, funeral, and ambulance boats. Yep! That is Venice. I think I read that. Oh, you'll find the Hindu temples of... What? Of Ka... Kapalishwar. I almost read Shareware. Malikaryuna and Tirukalikundram. Gesundheit. Here. What? I'm not reading that again, but okay. Hindu temples. <laughs> and go to Venice. Aw, oh, man, he's gonna race me, jerk. No, you don't, sir. No, 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 no. Oh, Venice is up here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, he's getting there one... One turn before me! This is not an Easter egg hunt, Doomkopf! You must think about what you're doing! And you get it. Ah, oh, damn it! He was one... One turn earlier. Is there no end to the humiliation you will endure? Give up! Further resistance is futile. Ugh. Bah. Well. We are gonna lose this one, probably. Where the heck are these items? Bork confirmed break his legs, oh dear. Barcarolo means boatman in Venice dialect, I see. Uh, I'm gonna go for the sitar, but we are going to lose this one simply because we need to find items to get tickets and, he well... Could you stop tailgating me, dude? Or do you know where it is as well? Come now, let us be reasonable. There is no shame in admitting defeat when you are facing von Schlenkenrat. Bah. Yeah, you can see why I never beat this guy, right? Oh, when you come to the train station in this Asian country, you may think you are entering a mosque. Um... What is Southeastern Asian capital? Asian country, you may think you're entering a mosque. Ha! You must grope for clues while I, von Schlinkenrat, drive on to victory! He says. Man, I just hope that the sitar is here. Clay pipe. Some people still speak only Gaelic and smoke clay pipes in the western part of this European island. Some people still speak only Gaelic and smoke clay pipes in the western part of this European island. Uh, Ireland maybe? Perhaps this clue will aid your feeble attempt at competition. Yeah, Ireland, but I'm here. I'm gonna try for the sitar in Delhi. Nope. Well, let's go to Ireland then. We have really not much else we can do. We have only 16 tickets, and he has 24. He took our items! 
So yeah. What are you looking for? Don Quixote? Windmills? They're in the Netherlands! Ha ha ha! I know. I am from the Netherlands, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, you can see why. Oh, he. I was there! I was not in the right spot. I was in New Delhi, not in Madras. Ah, That's rough. Like, seriously. It was just a different city, but it was the, the same country. Ugh. Well... Oh, snakeskin shampoo. In this African country, or African city, you'll find those who believe in genies and use snakeskin shampoo. <sighs> Has their son altered your wits? There is nothing in that direction. There is. We're gonna go to Ireland if you let me. Oh. Oh my, your pilot was given the wrong destination. You can't trust anyone these days. Haha. <laughs> yeah. And then he just moves you elsewhere because he's nice. I hate Otto so much. I was never able to beat him, and I'm not gonna. Really. I'm not gonna do it this this game either. The flying lizard tie pin. I'm writing all of these down. Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Bah. Let's just try go to Italy and uh, Italy, I mean Ireland and see if we get this. Doomkopf! You have passed over an item! Such carelessness is a disgrace! I did? What? In France? No way! What? It was in Ireland. I think he's trying to get it under my skin. Yeah. It's the clay pipe. In Dublin, Ireland. Clay pipes are a tradition in the Celtic parts of the British Isles. Ha! <laughs> it's rough, rough. Never forget. I have free tickets to get to Chile. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Remember, there is no luck at the advanced level. You must know what you are doing. I know, dude. No need to drive it home. Uh, we're gonna lose. Bah. Well, it wasn't that bad. It's not like a big loss, right? <sighs> Alright, let's see. Let's just make some more room. All these items I've got written down. And there's plenty more to do. Alright, let's see what chat wants to do. Do you guys want to fight against Otto again, or do you want to do another versus? I'm looking at chat real quick, what you want to do. Like, try auto again? Or do you want to do another versus? Auto must be beaten. Well, it probably it might not happen this year, but if it doesn't, I'll I'll give it another, another shot next year because tomorrow I plan to stream something else. Though, let's just try auto once more then, and if there's time, we'll do another versus after that. Okay? 
Right, let's try Otto once more. So next week? Nah. Uh, I've been mostly watching and preparing gifts. That's okay. We got a astrolabe, a rose pelican nest, a wood carving of a dodo bird, a fufu, and a dash of salt from a camel caravan. Return them to Italy. Hey. Nice. I'm thinking the dodo bird is on Madagascar. And the camel, uh, maybe the West Sahara? Maurice Island for the dodo, yeah. Thought as much. Mauritius, yeah. I'm not sure what a fufu is, though. So, yeah, I'm back again, eh? You do not learn very quickly, but you will. Oh, shut up. Let's go for the dodo bird. In this country are the Black Rose, Black, Black River Gorges, a miniature Grand Canyon, and the Colored Earths. Go to chat. Then go here. This country's people chew cola nuts and speak French and Bambara. Okay? I'm not sure what that is. Bambara. Astrolabe. A bell in La Giralda, a Moorish minaret, calls the faithful to prayer in this European city. La Giralda. A Moorish minaret in this European city. It sounds Italian. Maybe Kaori knows where this is. Dodo was indigenous in this island, furthest off Africa's east coast. Yeah, it's... Ugh, I know where it is. I know where it is. That one's relatively easy. Astrolabes, the sailor's friends, were greatly improved by the Muslim Moors in this country. It's not Madagascar, it is there, Mauritius. Bada bing, bada boom. Yes. Got the first one. Wood carving of a dodo bird. Port Louis, Mauritius. Yay. <laughs> he is angry. This is an outrage. I will not be beaten by one such as you. Calm down, dude. It's just the first item. Seriously. <laughs> wow. Um, where do we go for the next one? I could try Egypt for the camel as I go back to deliver this to Italy. But where is La Giralda? Do you know that, Kaori? It sounds Italian. So we're go going to go there anyway. Maybe we can grab that too. I'm going to check Ka... Iro. What? Are you daft? Where are you going now? I think that if you had a tail, you would chase after it. Pfft. Check Cairo. Nope, it's not there. Oh, he got the caravan. Bum. Wait. Dash of salt from a camel caravan. Where was he? I missed where he was. Didn't get a chance to write it down. Oh, it's in Sevilla. Well, we may as well go there then. Mali. I 
didn't see what the name of the city was. What is the capital of Mali? Could someone look that up? <laughs> I'm writing these down because I want to make a list for future reference. Alright, deliver this. Kwanan. Kwanan? No idea. You tax my patience, Major Impudence! I warn you, do not forget, do not force me to do something you will regret! Bamako, thank you! I'm gonna have a field day to categorize these, these later. Anyway, let's go to Sevilla. In Spain. Oh, he's gonna get there first, you jerk. Yep, he got it. He got it. Well, we have to think of something else then. Rose Pelican Nest, Quanon, or Foo Foo? What on earth is Foo Foo or Quanon? I'm gonna get some tickets, hopefully. Yeah, the Astrolabe. In Seville, Spain, Spain. Astrolabe, Seville, Spain. All right, bah. I do not know. Put the queue back. He's going to deliver them, probably. I'm looking for tickets or clues. Pla what? Plaskavica, Plaskavica, and a Yeti footprint souvenir. Yeti. That's the Himalayas, right? Let's go there. Quanon, part of Lawrence of Arabia, was filmed in this country's Valley of the Moon area. Uh, it's probably an African or Arabian country. Valley of the Moon area. I'm gonna go to Nepal, though. I salute your tenacity! It is unfortunate that your skill does not match your resolve! Haha! <laughs> Jerk. Uh, Nepal is up here. Oh, I missed that clue. Damn. I was too quick. Oh, free tickets. Cool. I wanna go up. Bhutan? Is that it? Oh, Kwanon. A quanon is a musical instrument like a small harps harps court played in the Middle Eastern country. Pleshkava is a Serbian dish. Aren't you guys just using Google now to beat Otto? Back then we didn't have internet though. Imagine if you were able to beat this thing without using Google. Um, it should be here, Bhutan. No. What? If it means insulting him. Where is Nepal? Oh, there is Nepal. Kathmandu. Yeah. Your zeal is my admirable. You must have some Teutonic blood in your veins. I will almost be sorry to see you lose. Alright. Yeah! We got this one. The Yeti Footprint Souvenir. Keychain is in Kathmandu, Nepal. Yet he supposed the abominable snowman of the Himalayas. Yep. I knew that much. Oh, you have a restaurant. Hey, if he cheats, so should we. <laughs> I guess. So, Pleshkavka is Serbia. We can check there. It's really good. I never had it, though. What is it, what is it, what is in it? Like, is there meat or veggies or potatoes or? Ah, 
Oh, the bro's pelican nest. Tirana, Albania. Alright. My victory is assured, especially if you continue to play as you have up to now. Ha ha ha. Jerk. He really is a jerk. Yeah, you are close, but that's close enough, good enough. Remember that when I pronounce the winner. Look, he is gonna get there. I have bad weather too. Yugoslavia, yep. Ah. Bell, wait. Pleskavika, Belgrad, Yugoslavia. Ack. Is there no end to humiliation? Yeah. It's mixed meat or beef, lamb and pork. Sounds delicious. Well, deliver this one. A Toby jug. I don't even know how many items this game has. I think it is well over 100. So I'm not sure why I'm taking the effort to actually make a list. I think it's because I want to beat Otto. If I have a list of literally every item in the game, I can get everything before he before his AI even boots up. Because I know where everything is. That was my strategy, just to write everything down. And eventually I will win. It's not the best strategy, but there is no list online as far as I know. So I'm making my own. Uh, Kwanun is Middle East, except I don't know which city in the Middle East. Fufu is West or Central Africa. Well, we're gonna go for the Kwanun. A slight change of plans. That doesn't make it easier either. Your plane is an automatic pilot automatically flying away from the air we used to go. I wonder how, I wonder how that happened. Yeah. See? The Prime Minister's address is down 10 Downing Street. Oh! It's London! Pretty sure. 10 Downing Street. That's London. And he brought those back. Aha! We finally have an item that Ardala knows 100% where it comes from because she lives there. Yeah, let's keep the joke alive. <laughs> the maple leaf. And a lemongrass. But let's go to London first. Ah! I hate that stupid redirect crap he's doing. I'm gonna go to London first, you jerk. Fufu! In most places, this long, thin West African country is only 15 miles wide. I'm gonna get to London first, you jerk. Ha! Ah. No! Mine! <laughs> I'm not evil. Uh, Toby Jug. London, England. A Toby Jug is a drinking mug, or usually in the shape of a large man wearing a three cornered hat. I see. He thought it was in Paris! What? Yeah, the maple leaf. You're even saying A. I mean, that proves enough, right? It's in Canada. I'm not sure which city. Let's try, try Quebec. No, but I'm sure it's here. Maybe it's in Ottawa. Yes. It is in Ottawa. The maple leaf. The red maple leaf is the national emblem of Canada! Yay. Well, we got two items, we may as well deliver these. By the way, lemongrass, also known as sare. Isn't that an Asian ingredient?
Indonesia. Oh, he got the Quanon. That is in Amman, Jordan. Alright, alright, alright. Um, I'm gonna go... Yeah. I have not a whole lot of tickets. I need to get to... Venice. Or Naples. Yeah, Naples, sorry. Ah! Uh, it returns! <laughs> the Yippee Yappa Strawback! <laughs> Corsair's favorite item. And the mailbox from the Avenida 9 de Julio. <laughs> Revenge! Where is Avenida 9 de Julio? That sounds uh, Spanish. <laughs> yeah, but where is the Yippie Yappa? <laughs> and also, mailbox from Avenida 9 de Julio. Or de Julio. Oh. Hold on. Ah, this could be easy. This is the only Central American country where English is the primary language. The only Central American country where English is the primary language. Hmm. I'm thinking... Not Mexico. Not Cuba. Not Panama. What country has English in Central America? I'm not sure. But that is something that you guys might know. I'm gonna go to Indonesia for the lemongrass. In the meantime. Ah! Belize? I can try go there. I remember from a program I translated. Oh, that's cool. Ah! A magic carpet! <sighs> Arabia. But which country? So, where is Belize? Exactly. <laughs> I'm bad. Like, I don't know. Is it one of those, like, million islands over here? Because that's Bahamas, that's Cuba on the left, there's Mexico, there's Panama, uh, Netherlands Entails, and there's a bunch of islands over here. But I don't know where Belize is on the map. I'm gonna check it up. Check it up, check it out. Belize map image. Oh, it's Hold on. Where is this? Southeast... What does that say? Southeast of Mexico, east of Guatemala. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah, okay. It's there-ish, then. Ah. Nicaragua, El Salvador, Honduras. Nein, kum dum kaf, not that way. Ba. Mexico, Guatemala. Oh, he got the foo foo. Foo foo is in Banjul, Gambia, which is in Africa.
It must be the one up there then. Yeah, there it is, Belize. Bum bum bum. Got it. We finally got the Yippee Yappa straw back. Revenge! Like Corsair said earlier. Revenge! <laughs> I'm making some more room for more items in my list. Okay. Isn't that a Pokemon? <laughs> uh, well, we're not gonna win this one. I was gonna go to um, uh, Indonesia with a lemongrass, but I don't have enough. Oh, I'm gonna go there anyway. I mean, I, I might as well get the item. But he still has more more tickets, simply because he uses up less tickets to fly, and I get misdirected by his stupid shenanigans, so I'm using up way more tickets. A bush book bracelet charm. Okay. I don't know what a bracelet, bush book tra bracelet charm uh, Indonesia is somewhere around here. Oh, yeah. The majority of this country's population is of Orion, Indo-European heritage. Okay. Indonesia. That would be here. Jakarta. Tickets. Cool. Is Vader right about Saray? Nope. It's not Indonesia. Well, I'm gonna go for Australia then. For the bush book thing. Near the Shahiat monument, you'll find carpet sellers who'll probably offer you a magic carpet. Yeah, right. So let's try Australia before we have to lose this game. It's not there. It's not here. Oh, with over 10 million people, this is the largest Spanish speaking city in South America. Brazil? Sounds like Brazil, or maybe Rio de Janeiro or something? Nope, not here. Last Austra- There's of course... Bad weather. Alright, Sydney, more tickets, cool. Oh, he got the magic carpet in Tehran. Tehran, Iran. I told you auto is good. Nope, it's not there. Well, we may as well try Brazil or something. Brazil. Oh, that is Rio de Janeiro. Well, I'm hoping it's this for the largest Spanish speaking speaking city. Nope. Damn. Ah. Uh, and we're out of tickets. Ah, <sighs> we got demolished this time. Bah. Oh, they speak Portuguese in Brazil. Sorry. Bah. Alright, play another game. Another auto game or another chat game? I'm good with either. I want to... I want to hear from you guys, though. I have so many items on my damn list and there's still many more to come, of course. I got time for one more game before I have to end the stream. So do you guys want to do another versus chat game or another versus auto game? Even if we don't beat auto, I'll return to this game someday soon-ish though. I'm making that list bigger and bigger every time.
Instinct likes to play another chat game. Anyone else? Mm. Meanwhile, Corsair wants to play another auto game. What would you guys like to do? Ardalan, Vader, Kaori, Siddhar, and anyone else who's in chat? Two chats, two autos. I need at least one more vote to break the tie. Anyone else out there? <laughs> Otherwise I'm going to have to roll a dice or something. All right, one last attempt at auto. <sighs> and then I will keep this list, of course, and then next time, hopefully next time, we'll see if we can beat him. If we don't succeed this time, we'll just see. We'll just see. Maybe we get lucky. Advanced. No one else. Let's try. Third time's the charm, hopefully. All right. Your mission is to bring the following, a Maasai mask, a moon cake, a pearl necklace, a pair of opera glasses, and a beret. Um, beret is French, I'm pretty sure. Opera glasses might be in Europe as well. Moon cake, Maasai mask, pearl necklace. I'm gonna go to France. It seems like, to me at least, that Beret is in France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mooncake is Chinese. Oh, southeast of this famous French wine city is the tomb of Thomas Aquinas. Kaori, Italian theologian, theologian, where would this be? The tomb of Thomas Aquinas. You might know this one. And, okay, Mooncake Chinese. Now, southeast of this wine city. So that's probably southeast of Bordeaux, right? And Bordeaux, a. Wait, am I there already? Maybe it's Andorra? No, it's not. Southeast of the city, that's Bordeaux. Me Barcelona? Maasai Mask. Olduvai Gorge. One of the cradles of mankind is here, the site of a two million year old human remains. Hmm. No, it's not here. Monaco? I know it's around here somewhere. Opera glasses. Michelangelo's famous statue of David can be seen in the city's Academy of Fine Arts. Well, I'm... I, this sounds Italy. I think that Kaori should know this one for sure. Florence. Alright. Yeah, okay. Though originally a Basque cap, berets are right at home in this southwestern Gallic city. It is Bordeaux. 
Let's try Florence. Yeah! Pair of opera glasses. Florence, Italy. Way to go. Tanzania is the old Uvai Gorge. Okay. Yeah, it must be Bordeaux for the beret. I'm gonna try. Made it. I know it's here, dude! Ha! 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 I beat you to it, you twerp! I took a bit of a risk, but I got it. Ha! Jerk. Alright. Tanzania! Let's go to Tanzania and then deliver this stuff. Otto was here. Shit. Okay, good. He's probably gonna get it before me, though. Where is Tanzania? <laughs> I'm bad at African city, uh, African uh, countries. Oh, what's this? It is said that the legendary island of Dilmun, mentioned in Babylonian and Sumerian records, is here. Hmm. Dilmun. Island of Dilmun. Tanzania. I need to look up the actual world map. Southeast. Alright, thanks. Southeast. Here? Ish? Oh, Tanzania. Should be here then. Bam ba bing. Yay! Cool, cool, cool. Mak. Sai Mask is in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. And now we have to deliver this stuff. We have three items. And he has one of them. We are in the lead at the moment. Manama Bahrain Pearl Necklace. Alright, alright, yeah. Where do we have to go, actually? Oh, Santiago, and then for the mooncake. Let's go to Santiago. He's probably gonna get the mooncake, is my guess. He... might? I think so, yeah. Damn. He's going through bad weather too. So his score is going down as well, but we have more items. Yeah, he got the mooncake. It's Singapore! Not China in this game. Mooncake. Singapore City in Singapore. Alright. Right, let's see if we can actually make it back before we run out of damn tickets. He's low on tickets too, though. So that's good. Oh, Otto was here. Shit. Oh, good. Ah, uh, you've been rough, but we still got points. Alright, three new items. A snowshoe. A golf ball from the world's highest course. And a silver... What? A silver gaucho spur from an Estangia. Huh. A snowshoe might be in Canada? Or something cold anyway? A golf ball from the world's highest course. And a silver gaucho spur from an Estangia. Everything that should be in China is in Singapore in this game. Well, there are two two uh, Chinese cities, so there's no reason it shouldn't be there. That sounds Mexican. What, the golf ball or the gaucho spur? And a snowshoe might be in Canada. But the highest course, is that actually in Argentina? Or the Gaucho Spur. Hmm. 
Argentina. Let's hear. We can try. Yeah! Sweet! Silver gaucho spur from an estangia. Buenos... Buenos Aires. Argentina. He's not too happy. Ach! I will not tolerate this! You will pay dearly, I assure you! LOL! He didn't get through the bad weather! The world's highest golf course is in India. Alright, we can go to India, but first deliver this one. Yay. A bottle of... what? A bottle of Chibuku. Chibuku sounds Asian? Or maybe Russian? I mean, I could try India. Heh. He got two. Alright. A toy soldier and a Dao sail. Hmm. A Dao sail? What the heck is a Dao? Anyway. The world's highest course, according to Vader, it's an old game, yes, but it could be in India still. Let's check out India if we can. Oh, no, it is in La Paz, Bolivia. La Paz. Bolivia, and this is the golf ball from world's highest course. La Paz in Bolivia. The golf ball from the world's highest course was here. Well, according at least in this game. All right, Chibuku is an African beer from Umkwombothi in Zimbabwe. Well, let's go to Zimbabwe then. He brought it back. A slung shot, not a slingshot, a slung shot. Well, that's a weird. Weird item. Is it like the past version of a slingshot? Or what? Uh, the capital city on the St. Lawrence River was founded by the French explorer Champlain. Sounds American. Ardalan? Maybe you know this one? It's Canadian. Well, you would know, obviously. But I'm first gonna go to Zimbabwe. Quebec. Well, that's nicely specific. Um, wait. Where is Zimbabwe? I'm so bad at African geology, it's, it's astounding. Zimbabwe map. Images. I need to see a full picture of Africa, please. Okay. Africa map. Okay. Zoom in. Zimbabwe. Central Botswana. Oh, okay. It is south southeast. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I see it. More proof, eh? <laughs> yeah, you're doing this yourself, Ardalan. Oh, he got it, never mind. I'm gonna go for Quebec then. Zambia, even. 
Lusaka Zambia, the bottle of Chibuku. All right, well, I'm gonna get the snowshoe then. <sighs> I'm actually a little excited because we might actually beat him. And to tell you the truth, I've played this game on and off for like 20 years, and never once have I beaten Otto. If we're able to defeat him today, we're gonna write history. Seriously. Oh, he went through bad weather, that's good. Quebec. He earned less points that way. A no! Man, there's so many masks in this game! No mask! Quebec. Yeah! Snowshoe! Way to go, Eidolon. Quebec, Canada. Japan, Japan, Japan! Alright, we can try Japan. Not that far from here. Want to see him burn. Once you're dubbed Canadian, there's no return. Lol. I love how Insect is like, JAPAN! That's a clear fact, then. This is the most populous country in the Middle East. Ach! What clues are these? They are worse getting... They get worse every year! <laughs> he's panicking. He knows he's losing. <laughs> no mask. Yes. You guys are good. We might actually beat him this time. No mask. That is from Tokyo... Tokyo, Japan. No unmasked dramas developed from a dance begun during Japanese medieval period. Perhaps I have underestimated your resolve. You forced me to take drastic action. What do you mean, drastic action? I don't like that. I'm gonna deliver these, though. I had a character who collected these. Oh. Nice. Oh, the toy, so toy soldier that is in England. Alright. Toy soldier that is in London, England. Why am I making this list? I don't know. I just like making lists sometimes. Um, Alright, brought these back. Sweet. Oh. A hot red pepper. And a cowbell. The cowbell might be Austria. And the hot red pepper... Uh... Mexico? I'm not sure. I love them myself. They can be so damn creative and pretty. Really. Well, the more you know... Uh, the more you know. <laughs> yeah, we're still in the lead. Uh, cowbell. Does anyone know what a Dao sale is? I mean, he's in Europe, so we may as well go for the Dao sale. Since he's probably going to get the cowbell in the slung shot. But I don't know where to find a hot red pepper. Because you need to find the actual city. Maybe after you gather all of these, you can make a fuck for an aspiring bush book. I will! I intend to I intend to upload this list on GameFAQs eventually, you know, when it's complete. So, I'm gonna have to play a ton of games to make sure I got every single damn item. But that's something I will do off stream though. Not on stream, because it's a fun game to stream, but I don't think it's something you guys want to see me play for, like, dozens and dozens of streams. Not not in a row, anyway. Uh, an Arabian sailing ship. Oh, yeah! The most populous... That's something we can maybe look up. The most populous... Oh, bummer. The most populous country in the Middle East. Which one is that?
Might be Saudi Arabia. Nope. Oh, the slung shot in Turkey. Okay. A slung shot, not to be confused with a slingshot, is a weapon with a small heavy weight attached to a thong? What? Excuse me? What? Attached to a thong? Now oh, that's a weird image. Anyway... I'm trying Iraq, maybe? I'm not exactly sure... Okay, can someone look up what is the most populous... The most populous country in the Middle East? It's not Iraq, and it's not Saudi Arabia. Just to save some tickets. Maybe it's... Egypt? Can't be much else. There's not a whole lot of places in this area to check, though. Yeah, the Dow sale. From the most populous area, or the most populous country in the Middle East. I'm just checking myself. Since we're so close, most populous country, Middle East. Egypt, Iran, and Turkey. Alright. It's not Turkey, because there was an item there just now. It's not either Iran... It's Iran or Egypt. Let's just go to Egypt. Oh. Cowbell. This country has no radio or TV stations, newspapers, army, jail, golf courses, or billboards. What? This country has no radio or TV stations, newspapers, army, jail, golf courses, or billboards. That's a lot of nothing. What? Okay, no army? No jail? That is weird. Man, I want to go to Egypt. And there's always bad weather. Okay, it could be here. It could be here. No, it's not. Damn it. Dow sale. I'm just gonna try look for it. It's not Jerusalem. I need to find this item <laughs> or the cowbell. I mean, he is like 100 points ahead, guys. We need to find at least one more item to win. We can't do it if we know where this stupid Dow sale is, or the cowbell, or the hot red pepper. They said Iran. Maybe it is Saudi Arabia after all. It should be around here. Yeah, he's like 20 points ahead or something. It's not Iraq. Maybe it's Jordan. Hot red pepper. This hot Latin American city has a French flavor in everything from language to cooking. This hot Latin American city has a French flavor in everything from language to cooking. So a French-speaking Latin American city. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, actually. Hmm. Maybe someone has an idea. Nope. 
Not there. <sighs> Syria. Nope. Iraq. No. Bahrain. Nope. Oh, the cowbell. Liechtenstein. That is bad. We need to find this Dow sale. Oh, Iran! That was another one on that list. Damn it! Kuwait? I'm just guessing at the moment. Nope. Well, I'm not sure. Old man, perhaps? I'm checking everywhere, damn it! Abu Dhabi? Nope. And he won. Yep, he won. Qatar? I'm checking everywhere for this stupid thing. I checked Bahrain. Yemen? Nope. Not a Yemen down here. I mean, we got... Oh, South America City's name was given to the hot red pepper that hails from there. Hmm. Nope. We got one more attempt. It's not Sudan, is it? That's Africa, but I'm out of tickets anyway. I may as well try to fly. I don't know. Uganda. Nope. <sighs> and we lost. Close, though. We lost by one item. Damn. Oh, well. We got pretty far. And I have added how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... 30, 45, 60, 71 items to my list. <sighs> Man. That is... That is something. Oh well. I've had enough of Bushbook for one day, though. I will return. We will try to beat Otto some other day, though. Not tomorrow, but sometime next year for sure. But at least I wanted to show, show you guys this game. I think it's pretty fun, though. Just once in a while. Not like every stream, but just once in a while. It's fun to do. And we will take down Otto next year, then, probably. Yeah, come on. All right. It exits right away. That's fine. So, um, tomorrow I plan to play some more Nostalgia games. You guys remember a few weeks or maybe a few months ago, I played a bunch of Nostalgia games. There were actually quite a few we have not played yet. So, let me get my notes so we can see what are the ones that we had left. Uh, where did I? Okay. Oh yeah. Um, there is what's left on there? Bucky O'Hare, the second Ducktales game, Felix the Cat. We have two Flintstone games, Jetsons, Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, another Tiny Toons game. Two teams with the Ninja Turtle games and Wacky Races. So that's the stuff lined up for tomorrow. You guys can pick what we play first, of course. All games based on cartoons. 
back from our childhood. So that's fun to do, right? To end the year, some more nostalgia. Yeah, this was a DOS game, Corsair, believe it or not. So I guess it's also nostalgia in a way. But yeah, tomorrow we have a bunch of nostalgia games lined up, and then for next year, I'm probably gonna play just, I don't know, some kind of RPG. I think I had a few lined up for, I'm gonna pick one of them. And then at the end of January, or begin February, or something, I'm probably gonna play the next Phoenix Wright game. Ah, Prince of Persia is hard, man. It's such a difficult game. The earlier ones are even worse. But yeah, uh, thank you all very much for watching, helping, participating, and the uh, comments in chat were uh, were fun as always. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some nostalgia stuff. So take care, everyone. Have a good evening. And until next time, so bye-bye.